Hi guys, um, this video is to show you what repeated addition looks like when you're trying to find the repeated addition for a multiplication sentence. So, first of all, repeated addition is what multiplication is. Multiplication is repeating the same number a bunch of times and adding them together to get the product. It's a quicker way to add, that's what multiplication is. So repeated addition goes hand in hand with our equal groups. We already know how to do equal groups, so we're gonna use that strategy, and then we're going to figure out the repeated addition from that strategy. So it's really kind of two strategies put together today, equal groups and repeated addition. So kind of just keep that in mind as I'm drawing this, and like that you would need to also draw the groups as well. So if I have four times five, I'm not going to try to just figure out the repeated addition, because I don't know if I need to do four five times or five four times. So this is what you're gonna do. You're gonna do your groups. So we're gonna do, this X says groups of, so we're gonna do four groups of five. So I'm gonna draw four groups, two, three, four, and put five in each group. One, two, three, four, five. 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 And now that I have my groups, the repeated addition is super easy because you just add the groups together okay so there's five in this group plus five in this group because there's five in every group plus five plus five so I know that the repeat addition is five four times it's not four five times it's five four times so it's backwards that's why I have you draw the groups so let's try another one um, if you're a little bit confused a little bit lost don't worry I got you all right two times four let's say we want to figure out the repeated addition for this well, instead of trying to figure out if it's 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 or 4 plus 4, you draw a picture. Two groups of 4. We're going to draw two groups, 1, 2, and put 4 in each group. And then you just add the groups together like this, and there's your repeated addition. Super easy, okay? Let's try a little bit more complex one. Let's try um, 3 times 8 equals, we don't know. So we're gonna start out by drawing three groups of eight. So we gotta put eight in each group. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now we can count up the marks to figure out our answer. We've got eight here. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So we figured out our product is 24, but we need to figure out the repeated addition still. Well, luckily, all you have to do for repeated addition is add your groups together. It's super easy if you draw your groups. That's why I'm telling you, draw your groups, okay? We've got eight here, plus eight here, plus eight here. There's your repeated addition. Very easy, very um, quick and easy to find if you draw your groups. If you don't draw your groups, you're gonna be sitting there trying to figure out, should I do three eight times or eight three times, okay? So please draw your groups. It's going to take you maybe 30 seconds to do it, and it's going to give you the right answer every time. Let's try one more. Seven times two. So for this one, we're drawing seven groups of two. It's a lot of groups. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And in each group, I'm going to put two. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. One, two. I'm going to skip count to get my answer. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen. And then to get the repeated addition, you add the groups together. Two plus two plus two plus two. Ooh, broke the crayon. Got too excited. Plus two plus two plus two. You should have seven twos there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's because it's seven or it's two seven times. It's reverse of what you think it should be. So if you don't draw your groups, you're gonna think, oh, well, seven comes first, it should just be seven plus seven. That would technically still give you 14, but that's not the right picture. Um, and your SOL test is gonna ask you to draw the picture, the model, and you need to know that the repeated addition is gonna be the model. It's gonna be based off of that, okay? So that's why I'm telling you, draw your equal groups Take that extra step to make sure that you're going to get it right. If you have any questions about repeated addition, please feel free to contact me, and I'd be more than happy to help you guys. Have a good day, guys. Bye.